After a good night's rest and a long day of travel, we set out for breakfast and ended up at Latitude 62 Motel and Restaurant. You get the impression of walking into a rustic log cabin as you enter, which I quite like. I settled on a breakfast burrito as my meal of choice. After breakfast, we ventured down to the riverside to check out the view of the landscape. Here you can walk along the Susitna River, which flows only a few hundred feet from the main town portion of Talkeetna, although swimming in this river is not advised due to the constant strong current. If you're lucky and the weather is just right, you'll have a view of Mount Denali, which is located about 60 miles northwest of Talkeetna. Unfortunately, the mountain was obstructed by clouds on this day and you could only see the base of the mountain. From there, we decided it was time for our daily caffeine consumption, so we stopped by Conscious Coffee for some drinks. Then we walked around the main street of Talkeetna and went into some of the shops. The main street of Talkeetna is about four blocks long with two or three restaurants and a handful of stores and gives the impression of a small, sleepy town. However, we were told this is not the case during peak season as people are busted in by the hundreds daily and the nearby train station makes several stops throughout the day, unloading and loading passengers. We were also greeted by one of the furry residents of the town. We stopped by our Airbnb to drop off our souvenirs and check in with the rest of the group. This was the only day of the trip that we hadn't really planned out what we were going to do. So we decided to take a walk along the railroad tracks behind the house to a nearby bridge with another view of the river. This is an active railroad track, so we were sure to be on the lookout for trains. The bridge was cool to walk across and it had a pedestrian bridge which made crossing safe. There was also some good photo opportunities along the way. The painting that says think or swim. What, you're copying my picture? What? We also, of course, took the chance to skip some rocks up the river. It was the tail end of salmon season, and we saw this lone guy attempting to make his way up the river. Note the pedestrian bridge is shared with four-wheelers, as we realized here. After finishing up at the river, we brainstormed some things we could do next and decided to rent some e-bikes for a couple of hours from Talkeetna Gear Shop and explore the outer areas of Talkeetna. This turned out to be a really fun way to explore the area and we ended up biking through some nearby trails and around some lakes. We enjoyed our ride through the woods and stopped occasionally to take pictures and videos of the scenery. We had worked up an appetite, so it was time for some dinner. We chose to eat at Denali Brew Pub and had some drinks along with some good food. And that's how we ended our day in Talkeetna. We got up the next morning and loaded up the car to head back to Anchorage. We walked over to Conscious Coffee again to grab some drinks and breakfast sandwiches before hitting the road. My boyfriend discovered they sold CDs from local artists and bought one as well. We did make one stop for a quick hike on the way back to Anchorage. This is the Thunderbird Falls Trail. It's an easy, roughly two mile round trip hike to a nice waterfall. The trail follows along a ravine. Oh, oh this is actually very high up. Oh gosh, I'm scaring myself. Eventually you reach a bridge that ends at a platform with a view of the waterfall. This being the closest you can get to the falls.
We headed back to the car where my dad and grandpa were waiting and finished the rest of the drive to Anchorage. We ate dinner at the Fat Ptarmigan, and this would be our last meal together as a group, as my boyfriend, dad, and grandpa would be heading back home, and I would be staying an additional few days in Anchorage for a work conference. And that concludes our trip to Alaska in this final video of my multi-part Alaska series. We really enjoyed traveling through this beautiful state and experiencing the sights and scenery. If you ever get the chance to visit, I highly recommend going, and this is just one of many different ways to plan a trip through the state. For more information on the places we visited, see the description below, and for more travel-related videos, visit my channel.